Welcome back to another episode of Fish from Florida. Before we kick off this video, comment of the day should be popping up right around here. Make sure you guys check out that channel. The link to it will be in the description. And if you guys want your own shout out, all you have to do is to subscribe and comment something nice. So yeah, make sure you guys leave a comment. But anyways, today I'm pretty excited. So if you guys didn't know, I've had a tank for about a year now. And I had a turtle for probably around a year too. And I just got a bluegill about a month ago. He's a pretty sick little pet. He eats out of my hand. He jumps like out of the water to get pellets. It's pretty cool. But anyways, my turtle is getting a little big. So I think I'm going to release him. And this opens up a bunch of new possibilities. Because now that I'm releasing my turtle, I can get rid of the dock that I use for him to bask. And then I can fill the water up a good couple more inches. So that will add a ton more space in the tank. And I can probably get two or three more fish. So I'm thinking about getting another little female bluegill. A smaller one. Not as big as the one I have right now. And also maybe two little jewel cichlids. So that should be pretty cool. Hopefully they'll compete with each other. And hopefully they should be really aggressive. So they'll be pretty cool pets. But anyways, that's the plan for today. I'm going to release my turtle. And hopefully get some new pets for the tank. Alright guys, here's the tank. There's my gill and my turtle. Let's see if they want to eat. I already fed them, but they might still be hungry. There he goes. He got one. Let's see if the bluegill wants to eat. Well, the bluegill's not hungry. He ate a lot, but turtle ate one. All right, now it's time to get him. Come here, bud. Alright guys, here he is. Pretty cool little turtle. Pretty sure it's a yellow bellied um slider. I think that's what it's called. But let's get a release. I think he can sense his freedom. He's trying pretty hard to escape. You ready, bud? I think he's ready. Alright, see you bud. You're free. Well guys, there goes my turtle. I had him for about a year, so I'm a little sad, but now I'm going to launch my kayak, put on a live worm, and hopefully catch another big gill, and hopefully catch a few jewel cichlid as well. So this should be pretty cool. I have a bucket, so I'm just going to put all the fish I catch in that bucket, and the ones that are the coolest or biggest, I'm just going to keep those and put those in my tank. So this should be pretty fun. Let's launch the kayak and get to it. Alright guys, I am out on the water, got my ultralight, I have two baits, I have live worms and bread. I'll probably use the bread just for chumming and then use worms on my hook and then, yeah, let's get to it. Come on, fish. Oh, got him. That's a good gill. Alright, that could be my tank pet. Okay, folks, we got the bucket. Let's shove him in and put him right here. There we go. That's the bucket rig. It's kind of supported by all these weeds. Should be okay. But let's see if we can get another even bigger one. Got him. Oh, what is this? Another gill. It's another tank worthy fish. Oh, he choked it though. Oh, got it. All right, I'm going to release him. All right, guys. I think I got my pet blue gill. He's pretty. He's not too big. I'm pretty sure it's a female. It's the perfect size. I checked her. I don't think she has any parasites. So yeah, I'm going to run up, put her in the tank, then come back and try to catch some jewel cichlid. And then after that, I'll probably go for bass. See you guys when she's in the tank. Then I'm going to come back here and hopefully get some jewel cichlid. All right, guys, I put the bluegill in the tank. Now it's time to go for jewel cichlid. And to catch jewel cichlid, all I do is I take a really small hook. I think it's a mosquito hook size 8 maybe and a tiny piece of bread. Just throw it out in an open pocket where there aren't too many weeds and then just wait. Oh, oh. And I'm already getting hit. A lot of times they just hang out right by weeds and if they see a piece of bread drop, they'll just come right out and try to eat it. Let's cast this out. Boom, got him. Jewel cichlid, number one. It's a little small. Probably won't go in the tank. We'll put him in the bucket just in case. But I doubt this guy's going anywhere. He's really small. Got him. Oh my god. 
It's a bunch of tiny ones. I have to weed all these little guys out before I get the bigger ones. But just in case I don't get a bigger one, I'm going to throw him in here. Alright, let's get some more. Guys, here's a more red one. That one might be a good tank pet. The red ones are usually more aggressive, but they're a lot prettier than the other ones. Just got a baby tilapia. That might be a cool little tank pet. Alright guys, now I'm going to weed out the fish that I want to keep and the fish I'm going to release. And here's a cup filled with water. I'm going to put the ones that I think I'm going to keep in here. Alright, so I got two jewel cichlid and three tilapia. And haul these out. And there we go. Alright guys, here's the final product. Tank's looking pretty good the two bluegill are looking fine that bluegill i just got he's doing pretty good the two jewel cichlid are doing pretty good and then i got three tilapia right here he's looking pretty good that other tilapia is looking pretty good but this guy's not looking too good i might end up taking him out and honestly this little guy he's small enough to be eaten by my bluegill so he might just disappear overnight but if that happens i'm fine with that I'll probably end up doing some live feedings anyways. I'll catch some little minnows for these guys. But anyways, the tank's looking pretty good. I'm going to, tomorrow, when these fish are hopefully adapted, I'm going to fill up this about to up here. So the tank will be a lot more full and it'll look a lot better. And then I'll also probably clean it sometime within the next week. The water has a little, it's slightly tinted yellow, so I'm going to change that. And yeah, other than that, it looks pretty good. Now I'm going to go hopefully catch some bass. Alright guys, right now I'm using a live worm to hopefully catch some bass and bluegill. And yeah, we'll see what happens. Alright folks, this is this is a rig. My hook's too tiny to hook the whole worm. So I'm just hooking the head, casting it out, and it actually has decent action. I'm just letting it sink. Oh, dude, you just got taken. Oh, oh it's a bass. Let's go. I saw it. On a little worm. Oh boy. Oh boy, we got him, folks. Let me land him. We got Bring him. him here. We got Bring him. him over here. Oh, oh. Yeah, buddy. Let's go on a live worm. Look at the size of this hook. It's barely, it wasn't even in. Look at the size of the hook. Dude, I saw it eat. I was like, that's sick. Look at the bass compared to the hook. That's crazy. First fish on the live worm, and it's a bass, too. That's awesome. A decent one. Not a bad fish. Let's get a release. There he goes. That's a stud. We got one. Got him. Folks. Oh, we, oh it's a tilapia. That was so pretty. Alright guys, second fish on the live worm. Little tilapia. Really pretty colors though. See you little guy. Got him. Big one. Another tilapia. Second one of the day. See you bud. That is not a bass. Another tilapia, folks. Pretty one. Bloop. Got him. That's the one oh, I just had. Oh, buddy. What? See ya, bud. Oh, oh. That's a bass. Got him. Let's go. Little Run bass, folks. Tank. Run. I think he's too big. Another bass, guys. Pretty small, but a little too big for my tank. So I'm gonna get a release. See a little worm eater? And there he goes. Oh, fast. Got him. We got him, folks. Oh. How the hell do you get all the bass? Oh. oh. Yeah, buddy. Live worms. Let's go. All right, see you, Stinky. He actually smells pretty bad. No, he doesn't. There he goes. Let's catch a jewel second. Jewelly. I can't got get him. the hook out. Have that. Dude, this is such a good way to catch bait so fast. <laughs> oh, not that time. Oh, there he goes. Flinging them at me on purpose. Yeah, I know. I know. It's getting harder now because I have a bare hook. 
Oh, I had the red one on a bear hook. Got him. On a bear hook, folks. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, bear hook challenge, folks. Watch how easy this is. Dude, I had two on. Oh my god, the one you just had ate my hook. Got him. Bear hook, folks. We did it. That was so easy. There's so many of these little jewel circlets. Guys, this is how crazy the fishing is right here. I literally got two. Do you see that? Got him. See ya. Alright guys, I'm back from bass fishing. And the tank looks really good. As you can see, I got my three tilapia, my two jewel cichlid, and then my bluegills right there under the filter. Looks really good. So right now, I'm just going to feed them and then end off the video. But just wanted to show you guys the tank before I feed them. It looks pretty good. Tomorrow, I'm probably going to fill it up to around here. And then I also might clean it sometime in the next week. So yeah, that's what I have planned. If you guys want to see more tank videos, just comment below. But yeah, it's looking really good. One major thing I did I forgot to mention is I took out the other bluegill. Um, My bluegill that I've had for about a month now, he was bullying him a little. He was nipping at his tail. So I just took him out. I didn't want my bluegill to kill him or anything. So yeah, now I'm going to feed them and then end off the video. Alright guys, that's going to do it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And tell me if you guys want to see more tank updates. Um, I feel like this wasn't my best video. And it might bore some of you guys. But tell me if you enjoy it. And anyways, I just had a really successful day of frog fishing. I caught a ton of fish on this little topwater frog. So yeah, look forward to that in the next video. But anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll catch you next time on the next episode of Fishing Forest.